anterior hip joint assessment. First of all, what we're going to do is we're, get, we're going to assess the hip joint proper itself. So we'll just find the anterior hip, put our probe straight on the front and have a look. We'll identify our femoral head. We'll identify the anterior aspect of our acetabulum. We'll see the front triangular shape of the anterior labrum. And then we'll scan down and assess the femoral head neck junction. And we'll have a look at our hip joint capsule itself. So the capsule anteriorly here is the anterior iliofemoral ligament. So if you were to have a joint effusion, this is where it would be. If you were to have joint synovitis, this is where it would be within the joint capsule itself. We can have a limited assessment of the anterior labrum and the joint itself. From here, what we're going to do is assess our iliosolus complex. So from the front of the, the joint itself, we're going to get on that femoral head neck junction and just turn our probe 90 degrees. And here we are on the femoral head and as we scan up onto the iliopectineal eminence of the acetabulum. So femoral head, acetabulum, and our iliosolus sitting on top where we have the medial fibres of our iliacus, our lateral fibres of our iliacus, residual fibres of our psoas and neurovascular bundle sitting medially. So we see our iliosolus tendon sitting nicely on the iliopectineal eminence of the acetabulum. So this is where we go about looking for iliosolus bursitis, which is often secondary to hip joint pathology itself. Remember that the iliosolus bursa in most cases is contiguous with the hip joint itself. So if you're doing an iliosolus bursal injection, you're really doing a hip joint injection. If we were to do an iliosolus bursal injection, this is the approach we would use. Find your iliosolus tendon sitting at the top, so find your head, acetabulum, line yourself up, fix your nice trophy, and get a nice approach in here. Bring your needle in at about a 45 degree angle laterally and slip down to hit the top of the acetabulum. So you slip underneath the tendon in onto the acetabulum to do your iliosolus bursal injection. If we were to do an anterior hip injection or aspiration, if they had an effusion, you wanted to see what was happening as to why it was effusion, what the fluid contents was, if it's your query infection, or if you're looking at injecting the hip joint itself. I like a longitudinal approach on the hip joint. So I like to come on in, in longitudinal and bring my needle down from an inferior aspect coming in through here. So we go down, we drop down, we hit on that head neck junction but really as long as you get anywhere underneath the iliofemoral ligament and as long as you're anywhere underneath that joint capsule you're within the joint and you'll see you can hear anywhere along here pop your needle down and as it injects you'll see it fill up the space you'll see that capsule lift on off so drop down in through there the other structure we want to assess at the front of the hip is our rectus femoris so all we're going to do is have a look from the front of our hip joint in longitudinal and we're going to move our probe laterally. So we're going to slide out laterally to where you rise up here onto our anterior inferior iliac spine. This is our rectus femoris direct head. And then we see this little bit of shadowing in through here. This is our reflected head diving down, diving around to originate on the lateral aspect of the acetabulum and the lateral labrum and the lateral capsular structures. So our direct head in through here, you can assess for apophyseal changes, you can uh, assess for traction apophysitis, avulsion fractures up in through here of our rectus femoris direct head, and our indirect head reflects around the side. To identify our indirect head, we go just from this view, and we bring our probe around laterally from a very lateral approach, and here is our indirect head of rectus femoris running out and along into its musculature. Back up in through here. So that's one way of getting to rectus femoris. The other way of getting to rectus femoris is from the anterior hip joint. So we're here, we find our iliosolus, and we're just gonna bring our probe lateral and a little bit superior to identify the anterior inferior iliac spine. So there's our ASIS and our rec fem coming off with our reflected head, giving its contributory to the muscle. So, anterior hip joint, anterior hip joint injection, iliosolus bursal injection, rectus femoris assessment. <laughs>